All right, guys, so today we're going to be looking at a common issue on a lot of these Ford uh, Lincoln cars. This particular vehicle is a 2004 Lincoln LS V8. And uh, basically, this has to deal with the check engine codes. I wrote out a little uh, card here. It's basically the, car, the issue that I had on this particular car. So and it had to do with the check engine light. Uh, when you get it scanned, it will come back usually uh, as a P0171 and P0174. Uh, so that's lean code cylinder one and lean code cylinder bank two. So that means it's too much air or not enough fuel. Um, the most important thing to look at and actually the issue with this particular car uh, was the mass airflow sensor, which is located right here. Uh, this is the air intake. The air filter is under here. It goes in right here to the throttle body. And right here, once again, I'm just gonna point it out again, is the mass airflow sensor. Um, all you had to do, uh, if you don't wanna replace it, it's basically a $100 uh, piece of equipment uh, and over if you go for original, um, is unscrew this. There's only two screws, one and two. Literally just unplug the cable, take out the mass airflow sensor, it's uh, the way it works is there's a little two two veins inside. They're very thin, kind of transistor-looking like uh, elements, and they heat up the air. And basically, what that does is it monitors the amount of air going into the engine, so it knows the motor knows how to control the air-to-fuel ratio. Um, in this particular case, make sure that you get this exact mass airflow sensor cleaner it doesn't have to be this brand in particular but it does have to be mass airflow sensor cleaner some people try using brake cleaner or some other elements but the the parts the sensors in this unit are very very delicate you don't want to ruin them and you cannot touch them with your hands so when you clean it give it a good two to three seconds spray let it dry do another couple rounds until you can visibly observe that the little veins in the sensor unit are clean now this is actually the same scenario that happened with this 2004 lincoln um you know uh, another issue that could happen is if, if you're getting these codes obviously from from your code reader or scanner uh you could have some kind of vacuum leak in the system now on uh, this particular car there's no vacuum leaks but that could be it but trust me the first thing to always check and to always kind of it's a cheap fix is this little uh, mass airflow sensor unit it's very simply just unscrew this take this out uh, you don't even have to do all that you could just literally unscrew it if you wanted to but I really just wanted to have a look inside the system see if it's dirty and it was fairly dirty so that's a good sign that you know the sensor will be dirty um, I did recently replace the filter in this car not too long ago, but um, you know, this is a 2004, it has over 140K on it. Probably no one's ever cleaned the mass airflow sensor, so I decided to do it. And uh, ever since then, guys, uh, the check engine light has, uh, has not come on for the same issue. Uh, the car runs perfectly. Another good way to diagnose it is if you might have some kind of misfire. Now, of course, in these cars, usually it's the coils. And I do have, uh, I think, uh, another video on how to do the coils in this particular vehicle. Um, every two to three years, you generally have to replace one of the coils. They just go out of order for some reason. But this is the easiest, cheapest way to, uh, you know, usually 90, 95% of the time from what I've seen from other, um, you know, owners of these vehicles. So just cleaning the mass airflow sensor unit inside here is, is enough to make your codes go away. So there it is, guys. There you go. So once again, the codes are right here. In case you want to look them up, uh, I already wrote it out and what the code means. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.